Hello and welcome back to our tutorial series on creating Facebook fan pages for business or creating Facebook pages for business if you will. I've heard it said both ways. In this video we're going to go into the admin role section in the settings because I find that to be very important. A lot of times we have people who are using outsourcers or there's more than one person who's working on the team. Now you'll notice that yourself is the manager and that is not going to change. But let's say, for example, you want to give someone content creator access. You can simply type in their email right here. And click Save. And you have to type in your password. And click Confirm. Ah, there is one small problem there I didn't realize. So let's come over here. You actually have to be logged in, and the person has to have clicked like, I believe. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. This is what your page so far is going to look like to anyone who is not an admin. We're going to actually like the page. And we're going to come down here to account settings. Now you'll notice that obviously my name is not John Doe. This is actually a demo account. But we want Jonathan... J-O-N-N-A-T-H-N. -N -N. Let's come back here. Doe71. Gmail.com. They are not a manager. You do not want to allow anyone else to be a manager. Content creator. Click Save. Type in your password. Click Confirm. Now you will notice that I'm using two different browsers for this, Chrome and Firefox, because it makes it easier for me as a teacher to show you how things are done. You'll notice the picture shows up. They're going to notify the person who's been added as an admin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right up here at the top. Roofingleads at Gmail has added you. Click the Like button. You are already connected. Click OK. Now it starts going into how to actually start promoting this as an admin. You can you know, show this to your friends. Invite your email contacts. Share something on the page. In this case, I'm going to just simply skip that option. There we go. Now Jonathan Doe, who again is just a fictitious you know, training account, has admin access. And of course, for full disclosure, I'm sure many of you have noticed that Jonathan Doe is sporting this really nice picture of Albert Einstein that's been edited to be like Mr. Muscular kind of guy. I, again, this is just a training account. It's not meant to brand me, my products, my services, or anyone else for that matter. It's for the sole purpose of training, so please do not send me any emails at any of the accounts you see me creating. Please do not send me any information on Facebook when you see something in a demo video. If you need to contact me, we will provide you with a contact email or a help form or something that you can use to get support. But do not use these, please, I ask you you won't get a response. We use these 100% for training and for absolutely nothing else. So it would truly be a waste of your time. And I want to be able to help you. So contacting me at the right email address, contacting someone on our team or one of our partners if that's how you found out about us. However it is that you need to contact us, using the appropriate channels is always going to be the best option. So keep that in mind if you need any help. For now, we're going to bring this video to a close. And we'll talk to you soon.